this video, I'm going to show you how to use an NPC in Minecraft Education to collect work from your students. So the first thing we need to do is we need to find our NPC and put them here. Um, so I'm going to go into my inventory by clicking E, and I'm going to go up to the search, and I'm going to type NPC. And you notice you get a spawn NPC egg, a little rainbow egg. So I'm going to put one of those down here in my hotbar, and then I'm going to select that place in the hot bar either with the wheel on my mouse or with the one key and now i'm going to find out decide where i want my npc i think i'm going to stand right here so i'm going to look at that spot and i'm going to right click and uh, nothing i wonder why well that's because there are two modes in minecraft education there's world builder mode and then there's regular gameplay mode we need to put ourselves in a world builder mode so that we can place this npc so i'm going to go hit t to get into my chat and I'll put a slot forward slash, and then I'm going to do WB. That will put us into world builder mode. It toggles it on and off. So now I'm in world builder mode. And it says world builder status updated to true. So now I'm going to try to place that NPC with right click. And there they are. Now I'm going to keep it in world builder mode until I'm done interacting with the NPC. So by right clicking on the NPC, I get the dialogue for the NPC. First thing is I can name them. Uh, I could name it a person. I could name it a uh, turn in your work. Okay. Um, I can pick the appearance of the NPC. And I can even edit dialogue. I can have the NPC, NPC say, hello, click the link to turn in your work. Okay. Hit the X to get out of that. So now, how do I put that link in? Well, that's where the advanced settings come in. Click advanced setting. And now you'll notice here, uh, we have two options. Commands are really cool, but we're not going to get into those right now. Right now, we're going to do add a link. So this is where we're going to go get a URL, um, and that will make a button. And when the player click, clicks the button, it will take them to that URL. So in this case, all I have to do is hit Alt-Tab, to go out of Minecraft and go somewhere like this. So this is a Canvas assignment that I've set up earlier. I can e just as easily do a flip assignment or a Schoology assignment. But once I've got that assignment made and published and ready, I can grab the URL to it right here and right click and copy. Once we're back in Minecraft, we simply click here where it says URL and paste the link. And then uh, we even get to name the button. So instead of learn more, I want to say turn. In. Okay. Hit the plus. It's done. I back up. And I back up all the way out of the NPC. Now at this point, I need to switch us back to player mode. So I'm going to toggle world builder off. So I did that by hitting the backslash or T. So WB, that's going to toggle world builder back off. So now our NPC should be ready. Let's test them. First of all, we know it says turn in your work. That was what we told the uh, name of the NPC to be. When we right click on the NPC now. Hello, click the link to turn in your work. And down here, there's the turn in button. So you press it and boom, we go right to the canvas assignment. So that's how you do it.